Another, the most common way of segmenting markets is demographic, which is just physical differences of human beings. Um, the reason that it is the most commonly used is one is very easy to measure. I can pretty much tell that I'm older than you. <laughs> okay, and it's not just the glasses and the gray hair; it's just you know the the, the maturity, the attractiveness that comes with seasoning. <laughs> But again, it's pretty obvious that you know, old, young, those differences are there. Um, age, gender, those things are, are fairly apparent, um, not always. Um, and then some of the other things that aren't easily visible but not that hard to figure out, um, income, uh, education. Uh, again, they're easy to measure and they're useful differences. Um, who here uses these? Let me phrase that. Who here doesn't use these? You will. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. You're going to change your religion and you're going to become presbyopian. <laughs> and you're going to need... So again, people my age need glasses. We need hearing aids. We need uh, art supports. We need stuff that they... Um, <laughs> I mean, medications that you see all the time on... <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. Call the doctor after four hours. <laughs> so anyways, so age, obviously. We have different needs as we get older. One of the, the variations of, of age marking is this concept of cohort marketing, which I believe was um, uh, started by DuPont back in the 60s. And the idea with cohort marketing is recognizing that people of a certain age have shared common experiences. And those shared common experiences could be useful ways of segmenting the market. For example, who was here, or where were you when Kennedy was shot? Kennedy, yeah. Which one? Yeah, which one? Yeah, <laughs> be more specific. <laughs> He's the guy on the half dollar. Okay, so for people my age, that was like a huge traumatic experience. And you ask somebody my age, where were you when Kennedy was shot? Um, you'll get an answer. Where were you when the towers went down on 911? Yeah, okay, now that I remember, right? So people of your generation, if I ask you, and 20 years from now, if I ask you where were you when the towers went down on 911, you'll be able to answer that question because you have that shared experience. And the idea is that regardless of other differences, just because we all grew up in the same era, in the same culture, we have shared experience that can lead to useful differences. Um, you probably have heard about some of the common cohorts, the baby boomers, the millennials, uh, Gen X, and I'm hearing now Gen G, because the millennials are pretty much uh, grown up, and Gen G is the generation coming after them. Um, another common or another way of looking at demographic segmentation is by family life cycle. Um, and this is kind of a little different than age, but it recognizes that you know, our combinations of living situations will vary over time, and each of the different combinations uh, has different implications for consumption. So basically, we all start out single and alone, right? And because we're marketers, we have to put you know, clever acronyms on that, so we call that SYNC, single income, no kids. <laughs> um, and then we may or may not get married um, and become dinks. <laughs> Double income, no kids, or double income kids. Um, and if we have kids, we're full nest, and then maybe the kids grow up and we become an empty nest. Um, and we may or may not get divorced. Um, and if we have kids, we have different consumption needs. And if we don't have kids, if we're living as a couple, we have different consumption needs than if we're living single. And then the most depressing part is we end up single and alone, <laughs> right where we started, <laughs> and then we die. But again, the idea that as each phase and different families, different people are going to be in different stages of the family life cycle at different points in their life, all of those are good segmentation variables because uh, people going, you know, going to college for the first time, people having children for the first time, major consumption occasions. <laughs>